right, so you've gotten comfortable with that C major scale. We're going to talk about anchoring. Anchoring is something that if you're already playing, you're already doing it, whether you know you are or not. We, the first point we anchor with is our thumb. Our anchor, in, uh, we're anchoring on the back of the neck. It moves to accommodate where our hand is working, but it's an anchor point, and, and it just gives you stability and strength and a point of reference as to where you are. In C position, a, a common and easy to use anchor point is your first finger on the C that's on first fret of the B string. So it's the top part of your C chord. So I played through that run. There was no reason for me to pick my first finger up or my thumb. So my thumb and my first finger were doing the actual hard work, the actual aggressive holding on to the neck. And by those two points taking up the pressure, my, my other fingers are able to do more floating and then instead of force. So, we're going to look at a couple exercises on how to uh, develop this and be comfortable with keeping your first finger in place while working inside of this C major scale, or this one octave of the C major scale. So the first thing we're going to do is play through the scale until we get to the G, open G string. So we're going to start here on the C, G, E, F, G. That's as much we're going to use right now, for up and back. So when we do that, we're going to alternate each, this, each other note would be the C note. So it would be like... And back. Let's try that a few times. Remember, we're going to play through the C major scale from C to G and alternate, alternate pick with this first fret C. One, two, three, four. Once you've gotten comfortable with that, we can uh, take a look and realize that by incorporating the open G and the C that we're playing with our first finger, we've got a chunk of that C, C chord. So now we're going to walk through this and we're going to walk through the scale the same way we just did, but we're going to strike both the G and the C on, on, as our alternate. at hand, the C, into, uh, into our movement. So we've got a walking bass line established already. And we've got the rest of the chords. So you could, this is, you know, for bluegrass rhythm. position works with the C or the F chord but if, or the A minor three common chords in this key or in this position when you go to the five chord this G you've got to let go of it but that's really the only place that you've got to get out get that anchor out of the way so I'm going to play a little bit just to demonstrate how you could develop this uh, anchoring 
into a more uh, into develop your playing into a more elaborate approach through the anchoring. So you end up with more chord structure and a fuller, richer sound to go along with the melody that you're playing.